Greetings everyone, Point .99 here for a mean meter part 3. This time I want to show you an example of where the digital meter actually outperforms the oscilloscope. Now currently I am inputting a 1 megahertz signal into the oscilloscope at about uh, 100 millivolts peak as you can see there, uh, a little over 1 megahertz and the oscilloscope is reading a net mean approximately minus 1.2 millivolts. Now I've also got the Mastercraft meter connected again. I'll just slide it into view here for you and show you what it's indicating. Uh, about minus 1.1. So we're probably looking at about a 100 microvolt difference between the two, which is very acceptable in my opinion. Now what I'm going to do is give the oscilloscope a bit of a challenge here. And we're going to frequency modulate or frequency sweep the signal that we're looking at right now between about 250 kilohertz to 1 megahertz. And uh, I'll show you what, what this is going to look like. Now that's a fairly fast sweep. But let me just slow it down for you so you can see what it's actually doing. So it's still a sine wave. It's just being modulated and swept between 250 kilohertz and 1 megahertz. But we're just going to do it at a much faster rate. Try to smooth things out because as you can see the mean value indicated on the oscilloscope is well, it's having a bit of trouble with that. It's kind of all over the map, understandably. Now, let me just take it back there again. And let's look at the Mastercraft. Now it too is having a hard time with this. It's fluctuating minus 1.2 to plus 0.2 so it's kind of all over the map too right so let's uh, let's increase this modulation rate again up somewhere around there and let me just slide the, the meter back in and you can see that's indicating anywhere from minus 0.7 to minus 0.8. The oscilloscope, however, is fluctuating uh, anywhere from minus 1.7 to plus 2.3 millivolts. So in my opinion, that is not a usable measurement. However, observe something here. Internally in this scope there is an averaging function that we can uh, utilize and it'll actually apply it to the input waveform and change the way the waveform looks. But um, the goal here is just to apply the averaging and see what it does. So I'm applying some fairly heavy averaging here of 20 and take a look what it's done to the waveform but notice what the mean voltage is now it's hovering around minus 700 microvolts or 0.7 millivolts it's fluctuating between minus 600 minus 800 so I'd say 700 microvolts is pretty much where it's reading and look at our meter minus 0.7 they correlate just about bang on but look what the oscilloscope has done to the waveform that's not what really is going into the scope and really what's going into the meter let me just take it back and show you. 
that is what is going into the meter and what's going into the scope. But the scope's uh, conventional mean voltage computation can't handle this signal very well, as you can see, with the mean voltage fluctuating all over the place. So the question I have in my mind is for this particular measurement where we have a very aperiodic waveform, which test instrument do you think does a better job of indicating the net mean value? The meter or the scope? I'll let you think about that one.